If you ever have the opportunity to spend some time witnessing to a Roman Catholic, sooner or later the church fathers are going to be cited. Uh, Luther called the church fathers church babies. Yet when you read all their writings, they quote the Gospels 19,368 times. You'll find that in Reverend H. S. Miller, Biblical Introductions. 1937 pages 259 to 260. I'm going to quote as many sources as I can during this short broadcast. Uh, and if I forget or if you need some more information, just drop me an email and I'll provide the sources to you. Papias not only stated that John the Elder wrote the book of Revelation, you'll find that in Daniel Theron, Evidence of Tradition, 1958 pages 30 to 31 but also went on to teach that revelation should be taken out of the canon of scripture. Eusebius, Ecclesiastical History, Volume 3, Section 39. Irenaeus would quote the Bible 1,800 times. Clement doubted Jude, Hebrews and Revelation as being canonical. He quotes the New Testament 2,400 times. Dionysus didn't believe Revelation was apostolic in origin. You'll find that in the Catholic Encyclopedia, Volume 4, page 13. Eusebius and Origen question 2nd and 3rd John as being canonical. Origen said the Apocrypha was inspired. He quotes New Testament 17,900 times. Nicholas said Hebrews was written by Paul. Dionysius of Alexandria rejected 2 Peter and Jude as being canonical. Philip Schaff, History of the Christian Church, Volume 2, page 161. John of Damascus taught 1st and 2nd Clement should have been canonized. The Venerable Bede always corrected Jerome's Latin manuscripts. And the Catholic Church says that uh, the Vulgate has had uh, many defects and they have never denied this. Cyprian was responsible for the blunder of Peter being the rock of the church. Philip Schaff's History of the Christian Church, Volume 2, page 161. And he erred by referring to Matthew 16 being Rome, Volume 3, page 302 and 303. Origen taught Peter was crucified upside down. F.F. F. Bruce, The Spreading Flame, 1955. Origen not only didn't believe in a literal hell, physical resurrection but held to universal salvation even including Satan. De Principis Book 3 Section 3 5 cited by Musarello page 198. He also didn't believe the sun was made in the fourth day and mocked Eve eating literal fruit from the tree calling it childish. Origen De Principis Book 5 Chapter 1 Section 16. Origen and Clement both believed in purgatory and baptismal regeneration. Schaff, History of the Christian Church, Volume 3, page 601. And he believed the Apocrypha was inspired. Irenaeus, Barnabas, Hermanus, Ignatius, Polycarp and Justin Martyr were all premillennial in their eschatology. Leroy Fromm, Prophetic Faith of Our Fathers, 1948, Volume 1, pages 212, 370, 478. Clement of Alexandria believed Plato, Socrates and Aristotle's writings were inspired from God. We would also say how God gave astrology and the ancient Greeks their pagan and agnostic philosophy. Jerome and others later rejected many of Origen's teachings as heretical. Schaff's History of the Christian Church, Volume 3, pages 698 to 705. Irenaeus and Justin Martyr believed in the final annihilation of the dead like Russell and Rutherford did of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Also, Origen believed that Jesus was inferior to the Father, and on one occasion it is reported that uh, he mutilated himself when he got to Matthew chapter 5, which spoke about lusting after women, and uh, what you are to do with your eyes and your hands if you cannot control yourself. Augustine quoted by Catholics and uh, Protestants alike, once said, He, that is a faithful Catholic, cannot have God for his father, who refuses to have the church, that of course will be the Catholic church, for his mother. 
that is from uh, Di Simbolo. Said all non baptized babies went to hell. That is Augustine, cited by Armitage, page 198. Was responsible for murder of hundreds of non Catholics and several hundred thousand after he died. The Assumption of Mary is primarily based on a 5th century forgery by Dinosaeus. You will find that in O.C. Lambert's Catholicism Against Itself, page 76. So we can see why the Church Fathers were called the Church Babies. Uh, for the most part they were heretical and it is doubtful that uh, many of them were saved. I've also long believed that because there are gaps uh, in Church history for example, the Bible doesn't tell us when Peter or Paul uh, were murdered, that uh, mischief makers came along later on in the 2nd, 3rd century and filled in the gaps. Uh, we don't know when these people died because the Lord didn't want us to know when they died. Uh, we don't know when Mary died because we we're not supposed to know when she died. However, listening to some of these forgeries, and there are many forgeries, uh, you get the impression that uh, it's all nicely uh, presented and recording history and there's no loose ends but of course we know that uh, that's not the case where the scripture is silent we must remain silent so always remember that uh, the Bible and the Bible alone is inspired the man of God is perfect with the scriptures alone church councils and popes have not been consistent uh, many times they have contradicted one another for example the Jesuits on more than one occasion have been banned by various popes. When France, Portugal and Spain finally decided to remove all Jesuits from their soil, that would be 1758-1769, Pope Clement XIII refused them entry into Italy, while Clement XIV enjoyed suppressing them. That's from the Catholic Encyclopedia, volume 6, page 33.